Thank you very much. We appreciate Governor Dave Umahi. Mr. President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me now invite the Governor of Jigawa State, Al Haji Abu Bakar Badaru. Your Excellency, our Father, the Father of the Nation. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our royal fathers, Assalamu alaikum. Well, first I will may possibly challenge the governor of Ebonyi when he said he's the largest rice producer in the country. I believe maybe he's prorating to the, level, to the size of land he has in his states not the actual production. Uh, I know by the last statistic, KVC remain number one, Kano number two, Jiga number three. Well, when we are talking of agriculture, we wouldn't know where to even start. The interventions done by President Muhammad Buhari. But let me give a macro example of Jiga State, and I ha I'm sure what he has done happens in all the 36 states of this country. In Jiga State, when we inherited a rice production, that's 2015 production, of 91,000 metric tons per annum. As per the last statistics of uh, 2020, we are at 611,000 metric tons. And I'm sure if they do that of 2021, we will get to about 800,000. Because of all these interventions also, our GDP in 2015 was about 950 billion. Today, we estimate our GDP to be about 1.8 trillion. Because the last statistic we have, 2020, it was 1.64. And we have seen tremendous development since then. In Jiga State, only in rice, we have seen the growth of rice meal from one to six integrated rice mills now with Dangote having the largest one doing 16 tons per hour, or 32 tons per hour. This has been tremendous, tremendous development and support to our people. And we have seen many rice millers, small, tiny rice millers in thousands in the states, producing rice, processing rice across all looks and corners of the state. And we have seen the development of agricultural service support and service dealers, thanks to the Ancopora program. We have seen a number of youth employed in land preparation, planting, spraying, harvesting, threshing, paddy dealers, rice millers, rice dealers, and more and more and more in the value chain. We have seen our employment rate because of agriculture dropping. And also migration rates from rural to urban states like Kano, Lagos has dropped tremendously. This is micro example of what happens in Jiga State and I'm sure all the state experience the same. So the Ankobura program, the fertilizer initiative, have supported agricultural development across the country, tremendously increasing our GDP and increasing our employment data. And we have to say, thank you, President Muhammad Buhari, for all this support. Baba is not only supporting the Anko Boroa, he's supporting 
the land preparation, the expansion of uh, irrigation infrastructure. In Degas State alone, in the last five, six years, 8,000 hectares of gravity irrigation has been added to our land. And that is increasing productivity of rice by about 150,000 metric tons when you do the numbers by the production, uh, by the yield per hectare. So, Baba, we thank you very much for this support and for the patriotism and for the dedication on looking towards your people. But I have to also thank the Central Bank of Nigeria and its own team for having this passion, for being with us day and night, and also Rifan and all other commodity associations for the support, the hard work. We are today talking on rice. Probably soon we'll talk on uh, maize and also uh, wheat and all the other commodities. And we have seen tremendous improvement above across board. And this is the dedication of this government and what our leader have done. So I thank you very much. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to guide you, protect you, and give you the strength to continue to lead and to continue to deliver these wonderful developments our people. Thank you.